What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Kyrex Street for today's video where I'm going to try some more of the, uh, the old time... What is this guy doing? I'm going to try some of the old tr uh, time trials in this game because there's actually a very special one, as you can see by the title in the thumbnail. Uh, one that I haven't actually seen before. And it's it's a track race one. It's, it's all the way down here. If I hover over it, you can see it's just basically a straight line. Um, I've done this one a couple of times and I ended up setting a time with, uh, with my R8. Um, I had to change the R8 back to race spec, but as you can see, I'm not even top 1,000. It is hectic up here, so if, even if I go to the top 100, you can see it's pretty much basically the same three cars. Maybe maybe a few more cars added in, but it's almost basically the same cars going over and over again. And uh, it's just super, super lightweight cars, high power. I mean, there's not really much I can really do to compete. I don't have any of these type of cars yet. Uh, there is an R8 here, which is pretty interesting. This guy's this guy's done some some bits to his R8. We can probably still use the R8 to get up here, uh, but I am using mine for racing. I wish that I'd, here's the thing, right? Can't you add or can't you save tunes separately on Carex Drift Racing Online? I don't know if you could do it in this. If I can do it in this, I haven't figured it out yet, and I'm an idiot. So people in the comments can let me know if you can or can't. Uh, but I want to just show you what this is like, basically. It's just literally just a drag race, just going in a straight line. But this would be so sick. If you were able to have this in, uh, in the game just permanently. Imagine if they brought out a whole playlist where it's just drag races. How sick would that actually be? I think that would be very, very cool. That would be very, very cool if they just brought out like a playlist or like a club, sorry, which is what it's called in this game. If they brought out a club where it's just drag races. I feel like there's so many places in this game where you could do it. You could even pull off like the old school like Need for Speed ones where it doesn't have to be perfectly in a straight line. So if there's like, you start off like here, for example, right? And then you start drag racing and then the finish line is like just around this this little bend here, right? I feel like that would be kind of still, still could be kind of interesting. But there's so many places where you could do it. You could do it from like the bottom of here to the very, very top up here. Or even all the way up here. I mean, there's so many places. Or coming down the hill. You have this bridge that you can do the drag race. You have uh, this area here with the tunnel as well that you can do the drag race. You can do it in there. There's so many places, I think. There's another road here that you could do it. There's some maybe some tighter roads uh, somewhere up here. You could pro possibly have like a, a little drag race going on. I think there's that could be like a really cool playlist. if Or, if the, or a club, sorry, if they decide to, to add it in. I feel like that would be really, really interesting. Um, and it would make this game even more fun, because then you'll have to start building cars for drug racing. But then, also the modifications need to come in, because right now I'm doing this in race tires, because you don't have the drag slicks or anything like that. Uh, I mean, you can technically change your tires and your wheels to make them absolutely enormous at the back, so it looks like you're on on, on drag tires, you've built a stick for drag racing, but the thing is though, it's still gonna be on race tires, you know what I mean? So it, it's, just, it's just not gonna be, like, the same. But, that would be, I think, a really, really cool update if they ever decide to do that in the future. I definitely think that they should, in my opinion. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is one of the coolest ones. Uh, I, I feel like this video is going to be more towards the time trials instead of the drag racing uh, side effect. Or side effect. <laughs> the drag racing uh, side quest thing um, that, I've, uh, that I've decided to add into this video. But uh, like I said, I wanted to try all the time trials. But that one is a really, really cool one. I definitely think that they should do something with it. Um, right, so what about these other ones? I want to try some of these, obviously. Uh, this has to be C4 and R935, uh, so let's swap over to my C4 cars. There's a couple of them I think that I have. Um, C4, 935, we'll take the Z out and try it out in the Z. I don't know if I've done any of these though, yet. I don't think I have. I think I've done other ones, but these are perfect for like making money and stuff like this. So. I forgot how... How low the limiter is on this car. I think, I see, raising it will end up bringing it into a different class, so. So I don't really want to do that, obviously, but. I think overall, everything else, though, I really, really like about this thing. I think it drives really nicely. I think it handles really well. It grips up really nicely. I also don't have any fuel, I just realized. So before I do any, any other runs with this car, I'm going to need to get some fuel. But I also need to be really careful with when I change gears, because like I said, I, I keep forgetting that this thing just doesn't have a high RPM limit. 
Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay, I really need to slow down for that one. In time. Which I've done this this time, but I feel like I'm going to end up forgetting and I'm going to smash straight into the fence. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be very fast. Not with this first run. This is more like a little try it out for the first time. Never mind. <laughs> what? I was going to be like, I'm not going to be very fast. I'm like, 40th. <laughs> I told you that disease is good. How many people have done it? Oh, nobody's done it. Oh, it's new. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm like top 50 already. Uh, yeah, nobody's done this one yet. I'm pretty sure this is pretty fresh. <laughs> I think it's only like a few hours old. Okay, well, um, okay, let me let me get some fuel. Uh, where is this? Where is this petrol station? Go grab a little bit of petrol and then we'll go back and do it again. I want to try to get a lot higher on the leaderboard, obviously. Um, the thing is, though, I'll have to revisit this maybe at some point in time again. And, uh, should I buy some more tires? How many tires? I don't have any more tires. Uh, let's buy a set of 10. Um, I might have to revisit this at some point as well just to try to see if I can beat some of the other people. But I'm going to try my best anyway. And do, um, do a few more, a few more runs here. Not too bad. As long as it's faster than before. Then I'm all good. It's funny because you can see how close your rival is to you because the ghost's headlights are still up. That is a big crash through the wall. Wait, what? Why is it? Oh, okay. Well. What, is it just better to smash into the wall there instead of actually slowing down? Or what? what is the deal here? Is that, is that a thing that people do? What is this need for speed? Taking corners with crashing into walls. Or Forza even. 34th. <laughs> What's going on? Come on. I'm gonna go faster. What's that, an Evo? The Evos were pretty... Evos were pretty sick. Surely I have another C4 car, right? Or is it just this one? I was looking at the Evo, but well, I think my Evo is C2. Yeah, I think my Evo is C2. I had to reset. That was a terrible line track corner. I went like so, so quick and so wide. I had to slow it down a little bit. You can see the difference between all wheel drive launching and then rear wheel drive. Then I think in corners I might actually take the Evo. It's not bad, it's not bad. I just gotta go so fast in it into every corner. I'm gonna try crashing through the wall this time and see what happens. See if I'm actually gonna save any any time. Instead of actually breaking and slowing down, I'm just going to end up smashing into this wall. Or not? Oh my god. Okay, so I can take that flat out. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I just took that flat out. That was sick. That was actually sick. I want to go again. I want to try that again. I didn't expect it to go, f to be able to go flat out. I thought I'd get at least like a little bit of oversteer. Very clean. 
Very clean. What's that? 29th, top 30. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to move on. I don't want to keep doing this over and over and over again on the exact same one, especially since it's pretty much brand new. Um, what else do we have here that we could try out? But I really wanted to try this one. That was, that was the one, the drag racing one. Um, that's the one that I really wanted to do. So that's also new. That's new. That's new. I think all of these are new. I think it's just a drag racing one that was that was the, the oldest one there. So, okay. Cool. Fair enough. What are we looking at here? So C5, uh, 300, and then the R class is the 1000. We got a special car for this one, if we complete it. Um, okay, I need C5. What's my C5? My C5 is this. My C5 is my Mustang. My Mustang's very, very sick in C5. So that is probably the one that I'm going to end up using, right? Okay, let's try it out. Uh, 85 participants on this one, by the looks of things. So not, not really that many. Thing is though, people have, uh, or someone said to me that uh, I shouldn't really worry about getting like top 10 and stuff like that, just get like top 1000 or, or whatever. Because, uh, because they don't really care. They don't really. I'm not even paying attention. I was genuinely looking at if my phone lit up and I, I looked at it. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I'm driving in a straight line. Surely I can't crash here, can I? Um, yeah, I can't crash there because I'm stupid. I made this thing really high revving. I love this Mustang, man. I've I've said it so many times before on the on the videos. The Mustang that I built is goaded. I absolutely adore it. Oh, I didn't even slow down there. It's only t oh, it's not even like. I was going to say, there's no corners. I was going to say, there's only like two corners, but there's no corners whatsoever. Oh, okay. Well, we need to we need to do something more for this one. That was, that was poo. That was bad. Best time is 33 seconds. That's like eight seconds faster than I am. We need to fix up, boys. We need to fix up. Fix up here. How far is away is this guy? Uh, pretty far. Do I need to slow down here? That is the question. Can I just go nice and wide? And just turn in? Oh, yeah. What oh, am I even on about? Ooh, of course I can't. Road is massive. Am I going to change the gear? I don't think so. I'm just going to hit him with the. I could have not. I could have not earlier, even. 58th. Better. Better, but still. Wait, I actually got a 40.000. Oh no, I got a 40.013. Never mind. I was gonna say, oh my god, that's that's ridiculous. Um This is very close to what like the drag cars are like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This kind of feels like what the drag cars are like. What if I ch what if I tune this thing slightly differently? What if I tune this Mustang so it has... No, because the top speed isn't the issue. I was going to say, what if I tune it so it has a higher top speed, but I don't think that's the issue. My NOS management needs to be a little bit better, I think. I'm going to try to use it a little bit more like this. Because I don't need as much at the very end. See what I mean? Like, I can, I can go better. Or I can do better. I'm still 59th. Wait, what? Wait, I beat my rival. I mean, no, my time now was 39.652. <laughs> I'm so confused. That's alright. That's alright. I don't think there's anything else that I can really do with this car, though. Is it the same GTR that did the uh, the drag race? It looks very, very similar. I'm very sure that's the exact same GTR. The exact same person that I'm racing against right now is the same guy that was my rival in the in the drag race. 
all-wheel drive launching is ridiculous though like the amount of time it saves you is mental where is this guy going what the hell is this guy doing <laughs> we like tied <laughs> oh i think i'm faster even 39.818 and down at the bottom it says 39.666. Bro, why are these times? They're just not consistent. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what's going on. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's mad. The all-wheel drive launches are insane. Do I have any? Other, I don't. I don't have any other cars in, in C5. Unless I try to detune my GTR. Should I do that? I could possibly try to do that. So my GTR is obviously all-wheel drive. Should I try it? Let's try it. Let us try it. Um, I need to. I need to change cars. So I need to do one of these. One of these. Because, like I said, in C five, I really I have the Viper, which is a drift car, and I have this thing, drift car, and then this is in C six, and then obviously the new Mustang that we just got. But we kind of need an all wheel drive. Um, okay, and then hop over to here. So let's detune this, and see if it's better. Because the GTR is sick, but it's just the, the launch needs to be, like, perfect. And obviously, because I'm rear-wheel drive with the Mustang, for that specific event, it just doesn't seem to be doing any favors for me. Um, High-lift cams, I kind of want to keep those, to be honest. Uh, let's just do this. Go back to stock, go back to stock fuel system, go back to stock cylinder head. Exhaust manifold. Exhaust. Uh, what can we really change on this thing? ECU? Oh, come on. Turbo kit? Okay. Okay. We can go to that. Yeah, that's fine. And then if I go to upgrade. That's perfect. Okay, we're done. <laughs> We brought this down now into the the respected class. <laughs> it's just not gonna be as fast though. I mean, four fifty two horsepower. Yeah, I, I, that's that's really it. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea or not. It's not that slow. It generally isn't that slow. That's the thing, though, with this, like, it's just, there has to be, like, a, a bit of a, a mix, right? Uh, is this the one? Mm, this is the one. Wait, what? Why can't I start it? Oh, because I'm an idiot. It, it's just... I don't know how he's pulled that launch out of the bag, but he has done it. He does drive like a little bit of a melon, so I think we'll catch him. He is much faster than I am. Maybe we need the power. We need, I need to add weight back onto this thing. What if I do that? Because I feel like this is all about power here. Power at the higher speeds. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I should have done. Oh, yeah, look at the cars that are on this list. I mean, apart from the Evo, the Challenger that's on the list still weighs a metric ton. Sorry, almost two metric tons. That's, that's That was that was wrong for me. It's not a metric ton, it's two. Okay, I, I'll fix up then. We put the power back on. Add the weight back onto it as well. Maybe add even more weight. All right, the pig is back, boys. <laughs> 1,897 kilos, <laughs> but we are now up at 662 horsepower, so the balance is uh, is a bit different this time around. A lot more power. I don't have a sequential box though, I probably should change it for that. I feel like that could help a lot. So by the way, this GTR in front of me shot forward is probably because it's got a sequential box. That thing changes gears so quick. 
Interesting. Can't really tell the difference between. Right. Okay, I'm much faster than I was before. Fifty third. Okay. Okay. We're getting closer and closer to our. Our target. I want to get at least like top 50. I think at least, at the very least, top 50 would be good. Um, let me get a, a different gearbox in this thing. Alright, let's see how much of a difference this made. So, new gearbox as well. Here's the thing about these, these races, right? You have to build stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like a different car. Those gear changes are instant. That's insane. Okay, well. That is ridiculous how fast this thing is now. It's so much better. Where am I in the world then? 39th. Oh my god. Just like 20 spots. Yeah. If if you're doing this correctly, if you're doing this properly, it definitely definitely go all the way. See, that's the thing though. I have to build each specific car for each one of these events. Like at at the time. And then I just probably don't have the money. So, like, if I'm trying to build it for each specific event, every single time an event comes out, I mean, I'm gonna have to change so many things on every single one of my cars, just to do it. And I feel like it'll be annoying, because then at that point, then all of the cars that I have registered in... in the Elite Races, won't be able to use in the Elite Races anymore. Probably should not have mounted a curve there, I, that was... that was my fault. Still not a bad time. Still not a bad time. Gear changes are ridiculous on it though. So much better than before. So, so, so much better. One position at a time. Oh my god. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone for this one. We'll move on to one or two more. Oh, I've leveled up. Easy money. Let's go. Um, what, what else do we have here? We have this one. It's a tiny little circuit race. What's this one? C2. Okay. We can work with a bit of C2 or 340. Uh, what do I have? Oops. That is not the right thing. C2 or 340. C2 or 340. That would be my Evo. Or we could use this. Oh, nah, the Evo, I think, is, is the the one to use. I think that is that is the correct car. That is probably one of my favorite cars to drive in this game. As as uh, as as it goes, I love this thing. I still haven't done a, a gearbox swap with this thing, and you can you can see it. Okay, well that the braking light just didn't come up. That was weird. That was very weird. Sorry, first run here is more of like a little scouting run just to see when and where and how I should be approaching all these all these corners. Uh definitely need to cut for that one, I think. Okay, let's uh let's give it a little retry here. I'll try at least set like a quick ish time, you know? Come on. Oh, 
don't know what happened to my first gear. It just bogged down there. Very strange here. Can we skip across this? Yep. But then here, we should probably be able to skip across this as well, right? Yeah, but to... Oh my god, never mind. No, we can't. Never mind, we can't. There is... Definitely not that. Maybe not as much. Maybe like a tiny, tiny bit. I need to change the way this thing launches as well. My first gear is way too long. It just smacks off limiter and then it just dies. Apart from that, the Evo is pretty, pretty decent. It goes pretty decent. We like the Evo. Just have to be careful where and what I'm cutting. Can I just cut there? That's insane. I can't cut at all. Uh, pfft, right. I'm sick of not having sequential boxes on my cards, so I've done it to this one. Oh, yes. And I've shortened my gear ratios a lot. Oh my god. Those gear changes are phenomenal. Try to build the rest of it the same. Because once you change the different gearbox, you're gonna need to... Wait. You're gonna need to retune your diff and stuff like that, and I pretty much made it very, very similar to what it was before. I don't really have to worry about it understeering or oversteering too much. Should be nice and planted. No cutting here. No cutting, no cutting, no cutting. Okay. The rating is a little higher now, I think, than what it was before, but the uh, overall class is still obviously the same. I did end up going up in class a little bit after I changed it to sequential box, but I think I, uh, what did I do? I think I added more, no, I didn't add more weight. What did I do? I can't even remember. I, I did something. Okay. 31st. That's not really good, is it? Um, I mean, it's okay. You can see what people are driving as well. M5. <laughs> How do you have an M5 with 229 horsepower? What engine swap have you done to that? Same with the R8. Evo, though, second. Evo's pretty sick. I mean, I'm only at 859 in, in my rating, and these guys are at 1,000, like 200 and whatever. Pretty, pretty impressive. I mean, like, what else can I really do to this thing? There's probably some random weird things that you can do to it, so. We'll have a look. But like I said, I'm not gonna try and I'm not gonna try and build every single car for each one of these events separately because it's gonna take a lot of money and a lot of time to do. So I'm gonna do my best with what I have. Okay. Surely that's not gonna be a cut, is it? Okay, I haven't been brought back, which means it's it's okay. We can do that. How's this guy nowhere near me? I thought he was supposed to be, like, my next rival up on the list. Uh, questionable. I mean, I try to keep my speed up as much as I possibly can, but at the same time, obviously, I try not to crash into things. Okay, at the very at the very end, I can cut because I think it's only if you cut and you keep driving on like that, it'll end up making it worse. Twenty fifth, nice. I'm still ten seconds off the guy at the very top, though. Jesus Christ, this is just way, way, way off. What the? Wait, what? Wait, what?
No, man. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Bro, what? You skipped the entire set of corners there. I was like, what in the world just happened? There's a golf in front of me, just randomly. You skip a, an entire set of corners. And so instead of the game putting you back to the to the checkpoint that you just wear, you get put at the next checkpoint. That is insane. What the absolute fuck is that? Why? Why are you allowed to do that? Oh man, I'm speechless. I, I actually don't even know what to even comment about. My nose isn't even coming back. <sighs> I got, I got a six-second penalty. Well, that makes no sense. <laughs> that absolutely makes no sense. So because I cut, I still get a six-second penalty. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, I thought that that would be, like, I generally thought that that would be a thing that people do. But is this still better than to get the six second penalty? That's insane. So imagine you're, you're, you're doing the race and you, you get a six second penalty and it's actually... You'd rather get the six second penalty than it is, than that to actually do the race correctly. That is crazy to me. Wait, why did I... Why did I get respawn twice? <laughs> I didn't even do anything the second time. But that's insane, though. So, six second penalty. Unlucky. Okay, so don't, don't cut that way. There's, uh, there's just too many, many ways to cheese this. This is gonna be the last one I'm doing for today's video. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't be bothered to try and learn all the cheesy ways to do these races. Oh, I just can't be bothered for that one. That is just awful. That is just awful. 57.1, but obviously with the six second penalty, I'm at 103. That's insane. That is insane. I'm done for now. That was just dumb. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video, everyone. I really do hope you enjoyed it. It was just 
an interesting experience, I guess. It's just people trying to find different ways to cheese all these all these events instead of doing them correctly. I respect the grind to try and find ways around it, but at the same time, I don't respect the fact that you have to cheat to be able to get it close to the top of the leaderboards. Not cheat in the sense of like hacking or modding or whatever, but cheat as in like abusing the system pretty much. So I don't like that. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.